Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we just kind of knocked some stuff out with the, um, something? Uh, oh yeah, with getting that upgrade. And we just kind of explored the underground, but now we're going to start the pit of 100 trials. Although I should call it the pit of 50 trials, because we're only going to go halfway through. That's how many things we need to do to get to the item I want. Well, I would have left tattle on that enemy, but can't do that. One star point. Weak enemies. And as it's, excuse me, as that sign said in the first um, part of the whatever. What am I thinking of? Oh yeah. God, I'm very scatterbrained today. Yeah, as Sign said right before I went in here, you can't use first attack here. Alright. Um enemies aren't too bad, so. We'll just do some more yellow attacks. Keep our FP up. And I'm probably gonna be pretty aggressive about uh cutting stuff out of the videos. So if I skip some floors, that, uh, sorry. But I do want to keep this episode under 30 minutes. Because I'd also like to get to the thousand year door. Get all that stuff taken care of. We're actually just over there, but I don't know why I didn't get the map to activate. Just forgot about it, I suppose. But there goes level two. Oh, we got a badge from that fight. When your allies attack causes foes sometimes miss. So it's kind of like close call. Very cool. It's an interesting looking kind of Goomba there. Let's have Goomba a tattle. To Gloomba, like stark damp places. Max HP is 7, tax 3, defense is 0. Just to Gloomba. That's easier than the first floor. Level six. Oh yeah. Take me down five levels? Sure, why not? I'll make things a little quicker. Left here now. The enemies aren't going to be too tough now that I've got this hammer. I don't even need to use a special one. I wonder how the enemies are chosen for. Oh shit, I should have tattled. Damn. Yeah, but as I was saying, I was wondering how the enemies are chosen. Like, are these like all gonna be chapter two enemies? Then the, cause I think I'm on the second group of floors, level 12. That costs us uh, 30 coins to go down to floor 12, but I think we'll make it back pretty quick. Spider dude. Guess there's no easy way to get him. Hmm. 
I think we'll just do regular attacks. Oh, not the fog. All right, let's head on this Paragloomba. That's Paragloomba. Gloom both wings. 7 HP. Wait, like a stronger version of a Paracoopa? Should that say Paragoomba instead? Yeah, we're gonna get him first. He can do the most damage to us, I think. Hey, we made it. We made it to floor 20. What's in here? Fire drive. Oh wait, what was on the, the first, uh, uh, the 10th floor? I guess I'll never know. Kind of skip that. That wasn't smart. Neither was attacking me, Mr. Boomba. Oh, not a bandit. I'm gonna steal my money. Shoot. Alright, so now I'll switch to Goombella to paddle on the spiky guy. Spiky Goomba. Spiky. I almost said spicy Goomba. Like dark places. <laughs> I wonder if there's a power guard partner badge. That'd be kind of helpful. Or I guess I could just do a defense up if I had enough. Whatever you call it. Enough badge points. Oh, we haven't gotten fight against one of these guys yet. Have we? Just want to find out. Oh, we have. All right. Hmm. Oh, I got a bingo to restore one FP. That's nice. Okay, let's pull Vivian out. Let her punch this guy. Oh, here's the mover guy again on uh, floor 28. Yeah, sure. Take me down to level 30. We are three-fifths of the way done with our journey. Pretty cool. Zat tap. Oh, that's... I think that's a pretty good one. Need three. We'll put that on with our next PP upgrade. And I think we're doing fine with health and flower points so far. Oh, look. look. Whoops. Oh. No! Alright. So, we'll put Goombella up front. We got some new, kind of. We got Dark Koopas. That's a Dark Koopa. Lives in dark places that the light never reaches. 8 HP or attack. Defense 2. That is a good point. And it looks like they're just, oh, they're in just as bad shape as normal Koopa when they get knocked over. Because I know some of them will, um, 
Oh, what am I trying to say? Some of them get up real quickly like the Buzzy Beetles, but not these guys. Yeah, let's get that HP. Hypercleft. Let's see, a lot of these, so we're gonna do a Quake Hammer and maybe follow up with Coops. Actually, don't even need to do that. I bet I could get a lot of early game XP if I had done this in, like, chapter, I don't know, two or three. And a flower fuzzy. Alright, Bella, you get the fuzzy beetle. Then we'll have Mario get the flower fuzzy. Very nice. This episode's gonna... It's gonna have quite a high uh, time on the recording, but um, what was I gonna say after that? But it's probably not gonna be too much once I edit it down. Gabella, tattle on these guys. Shady Koopa. Oh, I think I remember these. They can attack from their backs. Huh. Okay, oh then. Let's kill this guy quick. Yeah, I just want to do a regular jump. Ow. Oh, I got hit first. Alright, we'll do a quick hammer to get things started off. Get these guys on their backs. No, not that. Oh, hate the fog. Uh, let's try quick hammer again. Eh, kind of helpful. This fog doesn't help you dodge that. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna do water bounce. Then have Gubella attack the very last one. But he can't use his whatever, his item. Then Mario, you'll use Quake Hammer. Okay, that worked, but didn't do as much damage as I would have liked. Aw, oh, man. Oh, we got his item. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll drop that for now, but we'll use... we we'll use a Super Shroom and a uh, Maple Syrup. That should last us pretty long. Alright, and let me grab that. And I'm gonna check which floor I'm on. Level 38, 12 floors away. We'll do a quick hammer and then let Goombella finish the uh that Koopa off. Uh oh. A lot of damage. Right, enemies are getting a bit tougher, but I think next floor is just going to be. Here we go. Pity flower. Huh. That's funny. That's a markup. Not paying those prices for those goods. Hmm. We only have two FP or three FP restoring items. Next battle I get into, I'm gonna use Sweet Treat. Not Sweet Feast, just regular good old reliable Sweet Treat. Oh, 
jumped right into him. Huh. I suddenly don't like this situation very much. So. Yeah, this isn't a good time to be doing tattle. I need to... Try and get all these enemies on the ground. I don't have anything that could hit them all. Oh no! That was a puny. Ah oh, shit. All right, we'll try multi bounce first. Fuck. All right, this was only for emergencies, but we this is an emergency. So we only got one turn left, so... Alright, now... We use Coops. Thank you, Boo Sheet. You really saved me there. Should have gotten into this fight with a lot more health, but I wasn't thinking. Alright, so we'll do Sweet Treat now. Don't hit the poison. Oh, I couldn't even see that one. Right now we use Coops. Use your power shell. That was surprisingly tough. Alright. I think Eh, I won't heal Goombala. Even though she is a pretty useful partner and she's got a good HP pool. Oh, one of these guys. Oops. Wanna do this? Oh, you only did five damage. Oh, good man. I'm starting to get some enemies that we've been seeing in some of the more recent chapters. Some of those pink ball bombs were in chapter 5. Oh, before I fight this guy, let's put, um... What can I take off? Let's take off charge and do ice power. Then I'll have tubes to power shell. Very cool. Three star points. Oh yeah, we saw you in the last chapter, chapter six at uh, the Riverside Station. All right, so we'll do a quake hammer, then a power shell. Damn, crazy shit's going on. I don't like that we're using so many FP heavy moves. 
Hey, 12 star points. We might be getting a level up before we leave the pit. The pit. It sounds so dark and dingy. Actually, this place seems kind of dark and dingy, so... I guess it does live up to its name. Oh, I need spike shield to get these guys, don't I? Unless... Mm -hmm. What happens if I run away? Badges. And we'll take out for now. We'll take out Quake Hammer to free up what we need. I need to remember that Quake Hammer and Charge. Okay. Oh, but did I take out Ice Power too? Actually, not a problem. Not a problem at all. So we have Coops on our side. Avoid HP things. Always glad to see those after a battle. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use my maple syrup. Go back to my normal badge setup. No spike shield. But we do want uh Quake Hammer. Where's Quake Hammer? Quake Hammer. Yeah, Quake Hammer charge. Let's see what four are we on now? Forty six. You take me down. Yeah, take me down two levels. And go down from 46 to, I think, 48. Oh, let's get ice power. Actually, I'm an idiot. Ice power isn't even necessary. That makes things too complicated. I also not using charge a whole bunch, so it's not a huge deal if I have it taken out. And we made a lot of coins from our little journey down here. We are at like 140 when we came in. So you're the last one until we get to, I think, what's the item called? The Strange Sack. And finally, Quake Hammer. And a level up. You know what I'm gonna do for this one. You know that I'm gonna put more badges on. These badges are amazing. 42 BP. Very meaningful number. Of course, it means we won't be getting as much XP from the enemies we fight in Chapter 7, which is unfortunate. on. Strain Sack! And so that concludes our journey into the Pit of 100 Trials. You haven't got like an old shroom, do you? Nah. Just horrible markups. But we're out of the pit now. Oh, a star piece. So we'll just finish out this episode by checking out the Thousand Year Door. 
because it's right over here. Oh yeah, and I definitely want to save. Would have been horrible if I got the sack and my GameCube crashed. Did I tell you about the screeching glitch I had a couple days ago? Like, I was about to get started recording, but my GameCube had this glitch where, like, well, basically it was, like, there, there's some issue with, like, my splitter or my switcher, and the audio just sounded horrible. So we'll be going to the moon, just like Final Fantasy IV. We need to get the lunar whale to get there. And that door would be pretty, uh, yeah, we're pretty close to opening the door. Yeah, there's a crystal star on the moon. Did we use Vivian or Bobbery whatsoever in the Peta 100 Trials? I don't feel like we did. Didn't use Flurry or Yoshi either, but I, I, I'm not a big fan of them. Yep. Alright, so I guess next episode, oh, wait, let's just check our email first so we don't forget to do that, because I'm about to take a little break from recording. Oh yeah, is that true Zip Toad? Toe Town, that's where, um, what do you call it? Uh, that's the hub town from their first, whatever you call it game, Paper Mario. But yeah, so next time we'll be starting chapter 7, so stay tuned for that and have an awesome day y'all.